I was debating where to do this. So here we are in the car. Come together now in, uh, in this time of fellowship, in this time of prayer, as we devote ourselves to God's word. Let us begin this time in prayer. Lord, here and now, and it can be, there are a lot of here's to be in. And wherever we are in our here places, Lord, we're thankful that we're not journeying away from you. That as Jonah experienced, there's no getting away from you. But Lord, we pray that our journey will draw us close to you. That wherever we go, whatever we're doing, wherever we're hiding, Lord, we rejoice that you find us, especially in the darkness of our own souls. To be drawn into the light, to draw others into that same light, and to celebrate Christ in our lives together. Lord, we pray for those that are stuck on a path that's one they're trying to whack out of the wilderness themselves. And Lord, they've chosen an awful difficult way to walk without you, to walk without the fellowship of faith, to walk down some false lines of fellowship, Lord, to because there's a lot of paths that lead us astray. And there's a lot of people out there that will tell us, this is the way. No, this is the way. Why don't you try this way? When you've given us Christ, who is the way, the truth, the life. So Lord, we pray and ask for your Spirit's guidance, especially as we now turn to your word, that we will have truth in our lives and that by that truth, our lives will be guided, that we may draw close to you in praise and glory to you and you alone. This in Christ we pray. Amen. And so we turn to today to Psalm 32 at verse 7. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. I almost did this in my little cave in the basement, that hiding place. And I thought about doing this in my office. There are some places perhaps out in the woods in the wilderness where I can go and have a hiding place. But so often it's the journey in the car. It's the, it's the journey in the midst of the journey that takes me to where God would have me be. And how God would have me serve. And so, wherever your hiding place is, for me, it's this place of meditation, contemplation, and exploration that is my hiding place, my refuge. Before I get somewhere, I have time to prepare and to think and to, and to make myself ready for as best I can to be attentive to God, to, to consider God's word. Sometimes this is the place where children's stories get refined, where ideas in the sermons get sorted out, where Bible studies get talked through, prayed about. Those hiding places that God gives us are meant to be that sh sureness in our lives that remind us how God is all around us, that we might sing and rejoice in God's blessing to us. And in that quiet place, that solitude, like the prophet hiding in the cave, we might hear the still, gentle and soft voice of God speaking to us, to our deepest reality, the very core of our being, saying, where are you? I'm calling you. Here we are, Lord. Here we are. <laughs> 